right at 100 pitches. That takes us to our Beacon Plumbing call to the pen here in the eighth inning. Diego Castillo is up on the mound to pitch. Yep, you're going to see a bunch of sliders right here. It's fastball at 94 miles an hour, 55 appearances. Opponents hitting just 187 against him. 53 innings, 67 strikeouts, and he will get 8, 9, and 1 from the A's. Swinging strike one facing catcher Sean Murphy. Starts him with the slider, no surprise. And two. When you go into this series, a couple games back of the A's, and with the way they've gone, you really needed some quality pitching. And Anderson, the first game, goes seven innings, one earned run. Marco last night, six, two earned runs, and then the job by Flex and going seven and just the one. I'm not sure you could ask for much more than that. For Flexen tonight, this marks the sixth time this year he has gone at least seven innings, allowing one run or fewer. That's tied for the most such starts in the American League. Tied with the likes of Garrett Cole, Nathan Avaldi. Shot out to left. Here comes Dylan Moore, keeping his feet and making the catch for out number one. Dylan has really played well in left field and it's so important to get that first out late slider on the line drive and Dylan able to run it down gets a pretty good break on it. Tremendous athlete. One out here is Elvis Andrews. It's one of those things with Flexen too where we've become so used to his steady performance high level performance at that that we have to kind of go back to the earliest days of Chris Flexen back in Peoria and back in the month of April where I mean nobody knew I'm no, just trying to figure out what what do we have here in him and well he's been their most consistent starter throughout the year quick couple of outs for Castillo. You and I had talked about it before the game, Aaron, and I can remember the start he had against the Dodgers at the Dodgers in spring training, and they had their A lineup in there. They really threw the ball well that night, and just kind of thought, you know, there's something here. And then early on, when he started to get a real good feel for that changeup, could deal with the left handed hitters, felt like there was a chance for him. And as the summer has gone on, we've seen that velo jump at times, like he had it tonight. I'll tell you the other thing too. give Murphy some credit because you go into a game and I thought we would see more of his curveball and his fastball. Well he had a plus fastball at 95 tonight and the, he found the curveball right away and they stayed with it at least for the first couple times through and then we saw the cutter a little bit more but it was well done. He needed those two pitches and he had him tonight. It was dynamite one run over seven. Savage now warming. Yeah, you have Marte, and then it's Olsen after that. Two outs, nobody on. Castillo behind. Seeing the slider off the plate, two and two. Castillo back in the count. And I mentioned it, he throws that slider about 60% of the time, and he will not give in to the hitters. Two all the way through the slider and comes right back with it again. And he's had a good fastball. Fastball at 95 tonight, with some run to it. Jaws missing.
Trevino warming up inside the A's bullpen. Acevedo also going with him. A couple of right-handers. Here's the payoff. Shadow center field. Kalnick is able to reach out and make the catch. Castillo retires the sign in order with a little help. We go to the ninth. Mariners in front.